Here we go. Stefan Castle for the Yukon Huskies. Man, am I excited about this video. The 6'7 guard, 19 year old freshman. Can he do it all or what? Man, this kid is just oozing with potential. He is a top five pick in my opinion. Maybe, we'll see. Let's get into the film and break it down. I really appreciate all your support. This channel is growing like a wildfire. I mean, we're up to 251 subscribers. Don't forget to be a part of the Hoops Profile team by hitting that like button, the bell icon, to get our notifications for when a new video prospect comes out. I mean, this channel has done as beyond my expectations. Appreciate all of the views, all the subs, all the comments. I love hearing from you guys, so definitely drop a comment down below. If there's a player you want me to do a profile on, you know, definitely drop that in the comments as well. I have a lot of requested player videos that I've done, and I'll uh, give you a shout out whenever you do. Um, but I'm gonna get right into it with Castle. Love this kid's game. I can't wait to show it to you. Here we have Stefan Castle. The 6'7 guard from UConn. Let's watch him go to work at this in-between intermediate area for the foul line at the top of the key. Nice little right hand take, little soft touch on the floater. 19 years old with that kind of touch. Here we have Stefan Castle, 6'7 for UConn in a little secondary break action. He gets a very good defender in Devin Carter to come out on him, but he makes this look easy. Uses his momentum against him. Nice little jab step. Completely lost Carter. And then look at the touch again. This floater, that's NBA level float game right there. I want you to watch this defensive rep by Stefan Castle on Devin Carter. Watch him fight through the screen. You see how he fought over the screen, stayed attached, even though he's 6'7". He has the footwork and agility to stick with you. Again, goes around the screen. The length influences the shot. That's a great defensive rep for Castle. Here we have Castle at the top of the key, handling the ball. And here's where I'd like to see his growth as a shooter, because look at all the room he's gonna end up with. Look at all this space. It's a good five feet of space. Now, if you're a guard in the NBA, you need to be able to make these jump shots. You're just bogging down the offense if you're a liability out there. He's got to shoot that shot from the three-point line with some confidence. I need to see better than that. All right, let's put Castle's jumper under the beef test. Here's Castle, great length, 6'7 guard, only 19 years old. Let's analyze this form here. He's got nice footwork, you can't see it, but his front foot is forward, everything's lined up there. I see what's happening on his J, right? So he has good form, his guide hand's a little weird coming off the ball. But what's happening is he gets this ball really far back into his head. Instead of it being lined up, everything in a line, his arm is really cocked back. So he doesn't get good arc on this shot. Watch his fingertips as well. It's like he's shooting a laser beam. The ball should be at that 45 degree angle, high arc into the basket. So he needs to just get more arc on this ball but he's got a nice touch he can't improve that shot he can definitely there's a lot of things to work with in terms of what he's already got right when you talk about beef balance elbow in eye on your target follow through there's some there's a lot to work with if he gets a good shooting coach here's something that i've really been blown away by with castle and that's him on the defensive end and just watch how fluid for 6'7". He's already low in his stance, his knees bent. He sees the screen coming. Look how he stays attached. Even after the contact, he fights through it. And look how fleet of foot he is to drop his hips, 
turn his body to be able to accelerate back and cover his man. I mean, he's got some elite defensive traits. I'm really excited about Castle on, on just defensively. Wow. Now, I know this isn't something that you're going to go and see on SportsCenter, but it's something super important to a basketball team. Castle is a star guard, 19 years old. Doesn't have to have this mentality, but he sets really solid screens. I mean, contact. Watch, just watch him on this rep. Watch these screens. I mean, he's putting the wood on people. He just knocked that guy completely back. And he does it again. Look at this, solid screens. Gets people open. That's really important to your offense. On this rep, I want to point out just how disruptive Castle's length can be. Just watch on this double team, how he gets his hands up, gets a tip, causes a turnover. He's going to be a problem defensively at the next level. So I'm putting this in here because I wanted to clarify what I meant earlier about Castle's shot. His form is pretty good. His elbow's in, he's on balance, his eye's on the target. But here's what I want to point out. He's loading up the ball like a catapult. It comes in in two ways. When he's, the ball starts here, instead of it being one fluid motion, you know, one fluid motion, his arm comes up, the ball comes way back by his ear, and then it goes up to the top of his head. And so instead of him getting arc on the ball, he ends up kind of just shooting this line drive shot. It's a little thing that can be corrected. And it just, it's just driving me crazy. But he, he can get that corrected. Oh my goodness, am I fired up about this rep. Watch number five, Stefan Castle. Stefan Castle, I'm so sorry. I will get your name right one of these days. It's just one of those names that just trip me up every time because of the spelling, I'm so sorry. But I think the world of this kid. Watch him on this defensive possession. Fight through the screen here. Disrupts this whole play. Down in a defensive stance. Gets a tip. We love deflections around here. Watch him come on this hard double team. Look at him keep chest to chest. Disrupt the play. Digs down, prevents the layup. Watch him fight in the post. Look at him just wall off the offensive player. Nowhere to go. Causes a turnover. Let's go. Baby, man, is that exciting. That's exciting. Here we have Castle on the fast break, just showing those springs and that length and athleticism. He's definitely a lob threat. I mean, he can handle the ball. He plays great defense. He's a lob threat, draws fouls. I like Castle a lot. For me, this kid, this kid right here, Castle, I don't know how, I don't know how you put many people over him in the 2024 draft. I mean, just defensively, watch this, just rips him clean. Carter's 22 years old. He's a you know, good offensive player in the NCAA and Castle's making him look like a child. I mean, well, look at him slide his feet at 6'7", man, just stonewalls him. There's not a lot to dislike about this player. Carter's a very physical guard and Castle just matches his physicality. He gets his front foot attacked, which makes his hips open up. It gives a little bit of an angle, but just watch how sturdy he is taking these blows right to the chest. Just boom, right to the chest, takes it. Nice contest without fouling. That's a great defensive rep. I'm convinced. <clears throat> Castle's a defensive nightmare. The best defensive prospect in this draft. Look at him take this charge right in the chest. He's been playing outstanding defense. Now this is the shot that will take Castle's game to the next level. He has to start making these with more confidence and he takes and makes this one, but he's got to start hitting these 
at the next level. He doesn't have bad form. He's got nice form. Just a few tweaks and he'll get more consistent. It's becoming increasingly clear to me Castle's a top five pick. I don't know how you don't put him in the top five. Six, seven, 19 years old, hitting that tray with ease. I mean, he's physical, great defender, great, great defender. Disruptive, can get in the paint, can get to the foul line. I mean, Castle getting into his bag like this at 6'7", 19 years old? Come on, bro. Little left-right crossover, little hezzy in and out, takes the contact and one. Yo, we got a player. Now, this is the difference that Castle makes. This is the exact same play that Carter just scored on. But this time, instead of switching, where his teammate got beat back door last time by looking in, Castle's going to fight through all this traffic. And he just blows this play up, man. Watch him. He just sifts through. He sees the screen, gets that front foot over the screen, follows him, stays in front, Gets another deflection. Look at this man. Just great defense, moving his feet, causes a turnover. Let's go. That's a coach's dream right there. Coach's dream. And that is it for me today, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below about Castle, Stefan Castle. Man, am I excited about that kid. I really got to look up how to pronounce his first name properly. Again, I'm sorry. Um, I will do that homework at some point, but I just got off vacation. I want to thank everybody for sticking with me while I was gone. These videos are going to start getting cranked out. I think to me, Castle could not be anything lower than a top five pick. I mean, I would start a team today. You know, I would start a team today with him. He could be my number one overall pick. There's a lot to love with Castle's game. Excellent defender. Great point of attack defender. He gets around screens at 6'7", has great height, athleticism. He can finish around the rim, he draws fouls. He can rebound, he can shoot. He just has a little bit of stuff he needs to fix with his jump shot and he can be a more consistent three-point shooter. But I like his form, I like his touch overall. Again, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you as excited about Castle as I am coming out? Let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.